Hello, Tyler McAllister here with RV Sales of Oregon. Go to our website, rvsalesoforegon.com, for a current listing of our inventory. Uh, today's coach, 2006 4502 Newmar Essex Quad Slide. Um, the coach got about 50,000 miles on it. Diamond shield on the front, window uh, or awning over the entry door, side cameras on the coach, ISM 500 horse motor, side radiator. I'm going to be kind of brief because it's pretty cold out here today, but I'll go through. You're going to know more about these coaches than I do, so I'm just going to give you a little uh, run through what this coach has. Outside uh, freezer, refrigerator right here. It's on a slide out tray in the forward bay. This coach, by the way, has uh, dual fuel fills, one on each side. It's on a Spartan K2 chassis. You've got a large um, pass-through storage bay here, a few extra tiles for the uh, tiles on the inside to replace them if you need to. Uh, there's your ladder for uh, the rear of your coach. These are barn or side hinge doors. You have a joey bed there. And you have another joey bed here in bay three and bay four. Topper awnings on your uh, slide outs. Uh, this coach also comes with optional travel locks. If you look up here in the uh, slide out, you'll see those. So when your slide room goes all the way in and the little lady says your slide room's all the way in, those will actually um, engage and lock into the sidewall so it eliminates um, some of the noises you might get in other coaches. Real nice feature. Um, outside entertainment center, it's all done in Corian. Uh, two large speakers, a Pioneer uh, CD changer on the outside, and of course a uh, Sony flat screen TV. Tag axle, um, that is a when you, at the cockpit, when you push the button to relieve the uh, axle, it actually relieves pressure on it. It doesn't lift it up very high, but it does relieve the pressure of the, uh, that rear tag. You've got a small storage area here. And then, of course, back here are all your batteries. And as you can see, these, are all, uh, these have all been replaced. They're on a slide tray. There's six of them. Um, they're all interstate batteries. So you got a name brand battery. And that's one thing you want with a coach like this is um, because it uses a lot of power, it requires a lot of batteries. So um, you wanna make sure that you keep those babies charged. Back here, this coach has a 10,000 pound hitch rating. Like I said, it's an ISM 500 horse side radiator. So it gives you the ability to come in here and monkey with the motor if you're a gearhead, or um, if you just want a side radiator coach that's um, that's another, another nice feature. And I'll also show you right here, located here, is the uh, chassis battery disconnect right here. So the other one's on the inside. That's the one that you might be hunting for the most, uh, most often back there in the engine compartment. This coach also has a seven pin Bartman right here for towing. And it's also uh, wired or plumbed for uh, air brakes. So if you want air brakes, you, you've got them. Side radiator over here, ladder, air intake is up here. Uh, once again, this is one of your bedroom slide outs. It has a topper awning on it. Over here, is your wet bay. Notice it has a uh, RV Santa Con system, low point drains. This is to allow you to winterize the, the coach easier. Uh, cord reels right there, or water hose reels there, water filter. Um, city water fill, uh, tank level indicator, and all that stuff is in this bay. The other thing that it also has, which is nice, is a water manifold. So that allows you to isolate leaks, both on the hot and cold water side of the coach. So if, you're, if you blow a, uh, a fitting at a faucet, say in your bathroom, you can come out here, isolate that one area, both hot and cold side, and still use all the water uh, in your coach. So it's a, it's a nice feature to have. There's your uh, power cord reel. This coach has 50 amp service. Power co cord reel is a nice feature to have because these cords get uh, fairly heavy. They're probably 25, 30 feet long. And that's a pretty heavy gauge cord. So it's nice to have a power cord reel. Um, again, there's your hydro hot system for the coach. 
and then these bays underneath the slide out here were the ones that I showed you earlier. Come up front here, once again another slide out, another topper, and this has a power awning on this side that comes out and gives you some shade over these windows here. Over here you have uh, not to mention all your fuses and all your blocks. You have a, a window squeegee that they put in here that you can use. Um, your actuator for your um, generator is right here. And notice this is a 12.5 um, own and quiet diesel generator, so it gives you plenty of power for this coach. All right. So now we're going to go to the inside of the coach where it's much warmer. box awning up on top as well that comes out over this slide area comes all the way down to right here so it's a real nice size awning it'll give you a lot of UV protection sunlight protection whatever rain snow ah, better in here uh, this this is a 4502 once again 2006 it's got cherry cabinets <laughs> start over here these are all your controls this is your uh, house battery disconnect here um, your awning switches are all here LP um, exterior step uh, security lights um, hydro hot controls and then your Numar multiplex control system which controls your energy management system your furnaces um, your hydro hot and all that stuff here and then there's two controls here for your slide rooms uh, in the forward part of the coach pioneer um, CD changer there I'm going to shut the door you also have a GPS screen over here on the passenger side of the coach keyless entry as well um, here in the dash area you have a nice dash this is a Spartan chassis so you uh, have the ability to operate the steering wheel comes down this way it also telescopes um, you got the uh, regular car horn and then there's a switch over here that you can hit now you have bus horn um, all your switches and everything here for your visors your uh, generator start um, a lot of those functions are all right here these are your controls for your mirrors uh, navigation system here it's a pioneer CD navigation system uh, two-stage Jake brake six-speed Allison transmission presets for your um, seat defrosted mirrors um, toll window which comes down so you don't have to jump out of the rig unless you want to uh, map light this coach is pretty pretty well equipped <laughs> you come in you're on tile here in the cockpit area and then you move into carpet Back here in the living room, I'll start over here on the driver's side. You have storage space here. A nice large sofa here. Um, Day-night shades throughout the entire coach. They are manual. You have a hide-a-bed here. So this whole thing pulls out into a hide-a-bed. You've got a nice um, dinette area here. This is power. You move this up and down, and you also telescope it uh, with, a remote, with the controls over here on the wall. So it's a nice feature to have. Soft touch ceiling, flat screen TV here. It's a Samsung. It's been upgraded. You've got a nice storage space here. More storage down below here. Here's all of your uh, components for your uh, TV, as well as your satellite system. Moving across here, you have a nice size uh, residential style refrigerator freezer with ice maker. Here, uh, Advanium microwave oven. Actually, it's a yeah, it's an Advanium um, space here, here, all the way across here, and what's a, a nice size kitchen. You've got a um, two burner cooktop. It's a Princess. silverware drawer here a couple more pot and pan drawers down below here and then over here you got a thing for your scrubby doodad 
built-in drawers here in the cabinets. Water purifier there, inline water purification system. Three more drawers here, a small cutting board, nice size, deep molded 70-30 sink with uh, water purifier and soap dispenser as well as a removable head here. More storage space up in here. This is not, I repeat, not a hide -a bed This is a fixed sofa. As you can see, you got seat belts there for uh, passengers if you'd like. Move back here into the, uh, back towards the bathroom. You have a large, right across from the refrigerator, you have a large pantry area with all drawers. You got one, two, three, four, five, six drawers. Vacuum system is located right here. Down below here is another large built-in drawer. So you can put large skillets, uh, maybe some cookie sheets, that kind of stuff there. Back here into the bathroom area, on this side you have a complete stack washer dryer system here, residential style. On this side, you have a nice size bathroom. Um, once again, you got a medicine cabinet up there, a nice Corian sink, residential style toilet, a uh, fantastic fan up above, and a nice cabinet over here to put some stuff here and then down here. Tile all the way through here, a nice size shower here. It's all Corian lined. You see some red on the bottom. That's because we just winterized this coach um, for the winter. So nice skylight up above. Over here is another sink area with a little vanity here. You've got a small area to put stuff. Nice big mirror, little princess chair here. Room to put a wastebasket down below and directional mirror here slash medicine cabinet little space up here and these are the other two controls for your slide rooms here in the rear of the coach so the first two are up above the uh, co-pilots or the pilot seat and um, the other two are back here above this um, area back here into the the uh, bedroom area you've got a door this door here closes this area off to provide privacy so you get a nice private <coughs> area if you want so the people up front, if you've got guests staying, they, uh, they have the privacy up front. You have the privacy in the back. And then these lock back into place. Back here, you've got storage space cut into this wall here. Storage space across here. Nice mirror slash wood headboard on a nice king size bed. Windows on each side each end of the slide out so you can get nice cross ventilation real elegant area you've got uh, lighted ceiling here and then over here you have the closet area this has all your um, your data card here so it's got all your appliances the model number the serial number of all the items you have here a VIN number and a model number of this coach once again it's a 4502 2006 Essex um, nice area here to put shoes, handbags, whatever you might put there. And over here on this side, you have another bar built in so you can actually hang more clothes here if you want. Flat screen TV across from the, from the foot of the bed here. Storage space in here and over here. A nice window here. Bank of drawers, nice deep drawers here. This is your vacuum system as well. Your wand and everything is in that drawer down below. And um, of course your TV and a nice little area if you wanna put a keyboard or something like that, you can. This is a 2006 4502 Essex. It's available here at RV Sales of Oregon. We're located in Eugene on Highway 99, about 10 minutes from Eugene Airport. They don't build them like this anymore and that's the reason why we're in business. Thank you.